Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Clouds here. I'm back again with another video. And uh, first thing y'all can tell, Maid Arc is over. Now we got some more drip and we're mink again. So that's dope. Anyways, off of high request, we are doing a trading value tier list slash guide. So hopefully y'all enjoy this and hopefully this helps you out. Thanks to my boy Ohism for telling me basically all the values I needed to know, giving me his opinions on the values. And even helping me with value placements and everything, man, I greatly appreciate it. You helping me out with this video. So y'all in the comments, if you made it this far in the beginning without skipping, type in dub ohism in the comments. Ohism dub, bro. Appreciate you. Anyways, let's get right into the video, boys. Okay guys, so as you guys know, as always, this is based off of my opinion and my experience, and also these values are not set in stone. So I just wanna stress that from the beginning, no value when it comes to trade values are set in stone. Something that's very high can become very low, just as something that's very low could shoot up very high. There's a lot of factors that go into trade value, and this is mainly based off of my experience and a bunch of other people have asked experience. So obviously, depending on person to person and what trade you get, your experience might be a little different. Some people don't know values, so they might go for foolish trades that only benefit you and not them without realizing it. You guys get the gist. There are a lot of factors that go into trading values, but for the most part, these are my list and I will briefly explain the, um, the brackets that I have. So high S, very high demand, very high value. Um, these are items that like a lot of people want to get and have very high value s high demand fruits or high value um, not as quite as high value as this and high demand is this but almost there pretty much you got low s mid value fruits or items i forgot to put items over here a um, little bit less than this um, potentially you know what i'm saying like it's like a pika versus merit you get what i'm saying a plus lower valued fruit sauce items. This will, this will be like, you know, like where Zushi and stuff will be placed at Hiei, stuff like that. Now we have A tier high demand items. These are the items and accessories that people are most sought after. B mid demand slash mid value items. These are the items that are more sought after like mid game. And these are the ones that are sought after like late game. So these are these two right here, these two brackets right here or like early game stuff. These early game accessories, people want right at the gate, but later on in the game, there's just better things to replace it with, which is where this comes in. And then you have no value, obviously the no value stuff, you're not gonna be able to get any trades for that. So again, this is just my opinion, but going out right to the gate, we're gonna start off by putting Suke into no value. Um, I feel like I don't even really need to explain this much, but I'm gonna explain things briefly as I go on. I don't want this video to be too, too long. Suke has no value, like it's literally the easiest thing to get in the game. You can farm for five minutes, shift farm and get a Suke. You get the point. Next thing I'm going to put in here is uh, balloons. Balloons are not really worth anything. To be honest, maybe we might see it go up to like very little when update four drops because you won't be able to attain it anymore. But uh, there's been some tech going around with, you know, drag doing metas with balloons and stuff like that. That's not necessarily going to make the value go up, but other, right now it has no trade value. It's not really good innately for anything. Also, another thing I want to mention is these placements are not ordered. So if I put like Bicento above Trident in the same bracket, that doesn't mean Bicento is worth more. I'm just putting them in the same bracket. So get that out the way. Um, next thing that I'm gonna have in no value, I would say, is ice necklace, flame scarf. Um, let's see what else. Let's just get this bracket done quick. Um, shotgun, not worth anything. Let's see what else. Bazooka, not worth anything. Eye patch, not worth anything. Um, for those of you that might argue eye patch is good, well, you can get it. It's literally the easiest item to get, so it's not going to be worth anything value wise. Um, so, yeah, pretty much most of this stuff is really easy to get. The ice necklace and the uh, flame scarf, they're not really that good. Very little situations you'll ever use these. That's why you never see anyone trading for them, and they're super easy to get. Shotgun, uh, same thing. Super easy to get. You'll never really see anyone wanting these. Same with bazooka, same with eye patch. And then let's see, next, uh, metal jaw. Let's see, where is metal jaw? Right here, metal jaw. And this is gonna pretty much wrap up the D tier, no value stuff. Um, 
And again, let me just explain once more. Metal Jaw is something that people want early game, but late game, there's just a lot of things you can replace it with that pretty much make this have like literally no value. So now we get into seats here, very little demand slash value. Uh, we're gonna start off by putting buggy cape there. Again, an early value item. However, this is still pretty decent for PvP late game because you know it, it gives 50 plus HP, and I think I think that's it. Yeah, 50 plus HP. Not bad. Not a bad item. However, due to how easy it is to get, and there's just better capes that do what this does except better. It still just has very little demand and value to it. Um, pretty much all the katanas, CB's katana. You don't really see CB's katana getting traded that much. Oh yeah, that's Ryu katana. My bad. <laughs> Ryu Katana, Sky Blue Katana, let's see, uh, Kiribachi, I would say, has like no real value to it that much. CB's Katana, you don't really see CB's Katana getting traded around as much. However, I would argue, uh, I would argue CB's Katana could be over it here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put it right there, just because it could be sought after someone who's one sword style, and it has really fast M1 and, and good M1 damage, so you never know. Um, Flame Essence. Who, who's really trading this? You could just farm for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, Gorilla Crown. Just get Neptune's Crown. No real reason to have this over Neptune's Crown. Burn Bazooka. No real value to it. Um, Star Shades, really easy to get from dungeons. However, it is good. You know, you're know, getting free HP because it doesn't replace anything. However, it has like, no trade value. No one trades for this, from my experience. Um. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Lantern, nobody really trades for that. However, it is really good HP, so it is good to have. However, it has no real like value to it, like no defined value to it. Um, this Santa hat, nothing really, or this is the, um, the elf hat. No real value to that either, in my opinion. This is pretty much, uh, I'll, add, I'll add Bari here. Bari, let's see, let's also add Mero here. So yeah, this is pretty much gonna wrap up this tier for the most part, in my opinion. Um, all of these are pretty low demand, low value items slash fruits, because like they're they're good to have. Like like for example, Kiribachi, it's good to have, but no one's really like looking for that because one, it's really easy to get, and two, there's just so many better things than Kiribachi. So it's like these have no real value or demand. But if you're looking for these early on in game, you can do stuff to trade for them and whatnot. Um, I think I might add something else to there, bro. Like, I'm thinking, like, maybe Gravitos Cape. But Gravitos Cape, I still see some people using Gravitos Cape. So I might put Gravitos Cape right here. But it doesn't really have, like, that much NA value. Okay, so another thing I'm going to add is bunnies to no value. I've never seen anyone trade bunnies. So that, that is no value right there. I'm going to put Halo, very little demand or very little value because no one's really trading for that either. So yeah, that pretty much wraps these two up, I would say. These are all pretty self-explanatory. These are like stuff no one really argues about, but now let's get into the mid demand such value app. So, so far we have CB's Katana and Gravity Escape, which could be argue, ar arguable, I guess. Um, Gravitos Cape could be argued here or here, but I feel like Gravitos Cape is a little better, so that's why I kind of justify it being there a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to put is um, Guardian Helmet. Guardian Helmet is a very good item that I personally still use, and that because of that reason, it's still really good. It's plus 75 HP, even at late game. It has some decent demand to it, so you might see people trading this on as an add-on. Not really often. Pretty much anything that's below this it's pretty much like just lower end add-ons that may or may not change the course of a trade for you. Next thing is this one, Gen Cape. Very useful. Um, I see some people wanting this if you have like Tori or something, need high stamp regen build. So next one, TB's Katana set. TB's Katana set is in a weird spot because they're really good and every player should have it, but it's because every player has it that it has no value. And it's actually relatively easy to get. Um, it's, it's not that hard to get the uh, CB set from CB's. So for whatever reason, this doesn't have that much value, even though every play, it's like a, it's like a necessity, but even though like it doesn't have that much value. CB score has literally like CB score has worse value than, than than CB set. Like you still see people wanting CB set, but CB score you don't ever see anyone say, wanting CB score. But it is still pretty good to have, so I'm gonna put it right here, keep it right here because it, it is it is a solid item to have. Let's see, next item I would say is golden pole. Golden pole. Oh, that's not a golden pole. 
Golden Pool got quite a bit nerfed this update and that therefore lowered the value quite a bit since it's not as viable. It is still good for some build. However, you just see some people wanting it so much less than before or than they would before. Santa Bells, um, Santa Bells are decently wanted. I see some people wanting Santa Bells. However, it's not like, can't justify it to be up here because it still just has low demand and low use really. Like you're only really using Santa Bells in a couple scenarios in my opinion. Santa Hat, uh, Santa Hat's got some decent, decent value to it, I would say. Um, not anything crazy, but because it's an event item and, and people no longer have it. It's there, you know, it, it is there. I would give Elo Hammer right now in terms of value into mid as well, as well as Flamingo Boat. However, stuff like Flamingo Boat, we might see rise later on in the future as well. As the updates go on, this is an event item, so you can no longer attain it. So stuff like this might rise later on when people want it. But this is also a 60 speed boat, so it's a very bad boat. And that's also what's driving its value like really down. If it was an actual good boat, the fact that it's unattainable, it would go higher. Like you'd probably see it like up here later on in the updates. I don't think it would ever reach like higher than this right here, but because it's such a bad boat, like people just don't want it. They just don't waste their time. Shark necklace, I'm gonna also put in mid. Shark necklace is still really solid if you're going for a high stam build. Um, not that hard to get. However, some people want it, so I would justify it being there. And the last thing I'm gonna put in mid is bomb. Now you could argue bomb being either mid or low a um because bomb has gone up quite a bit in value due to the grinding methods with bomb so this one's argue arguable but i wouldn't say it's like that high demand like it's not like insane demand but so far this is like all the stuff that's uh you've gotten so far um let me just look over this real quick so no values right here very little demand such value mid divan such value items okay i agree for this for the most part yep okay yeah this all this all looks solid so far i'm trying to give you all the best information i can and uh inform you how the values work and everything so now we get into the high demand items these are like you know the, the items everyone wants and uh going off first of all let me put drums up here and the high demand items drums is one of the most sought after items and sometimes you can see it going for zushi However, that is a very rare trade and very unlikely. So that's why it's going high demand items. And by the way, guys, high demand items aren't items that you can use as strong persuading traders. Like, for example, some people are trading drums for Zushi. Uh, you could do drums plus ads and your chances of getting a Zushi is actually very high, honestly. So this is what I mean by these high demand items. Like people really actually want these items. Next thing I would put in high demand is striker um, because it's a 3000 robux game pass people want it uh, especially if you have mirror so it does have some decent value there so yeah this uh you could sometimes i see people trading um like zushi or sometimes he not not as much anymore mainly when update 3.5 first came out but uh zushi for striker plus like ads so like drums plus striker for zushi is a trade you could potentially do trident literally the best weapon in the game in my opinion for pvp very sought after um coffin boat really fast boat 85 speed really sought after as well got some decent value and uh i just want to reiterate this most of these stuff in here in high demand you can use as add-ons to get a fruit so like you could do like drums plus coffin plus trident for zushi drums plus striker for Zushi, stuff like that. And you can actually you can, you can actually find trades like that. Now you gotta be patient with it, but I found trades like that personally. So if I found trades like that, I, I know I know you guys can. So high demand, another high demand item is uh, hoverboard. You know, it's a decently fast board. If you have Zushi, it goes even faster. So yeah, that's why it places right there. Next one, white beard cape, best cape in the game. A lot of people want this cape, so you can use this as leverage point for when you're trying to get a trade throw on whitebeard cape they might accept the trade you know what i'm saying by cento also up here another sought after item one of the best weapons in the game as well gravity blade gravity blade is an interesting one at times i would say it's mid tier value mid value but at other times it shoots up a little bit like right now in the current state right where we're in right now the trading gravity blade is being a little more sought after so that's why I'm putting it in a high demand item. And this is a really good item. Uh, Gravity Bit is a really good item to get your hands on um, late game, like early late game. 
So I would say this is actually justified. So this is pretty much it in my opinion for the height of Matt Adams. Let me just look over here. Uh, I would say uh, Neptune's, Neptune's crown. I would say Neptune's crown is mid. Um, it's not like that sought after, however, it is very good to have. So some players want it, but it's not something that like every player is want. Okay, so now we get into the A plus lower valued fruit slash items. And the first thing that's gonna go there is Zushi. Zushi is a lower valued fruit slash items, the lowest of the low in my opinion. Um, I think everyone can agree on that. I mean, that's not where I think it should be, but that's just kind of what everyone places it at, and you can't really escape that opinion of it. If you try to price Zushi higher than it is, people will call you out for it, and they'll be like, yeah, no, I'm not taking that Zushi. <laughs> right now, flowers, because it's an event item, it is going up in value. I see people trading flowers plus ads, like flowers plus like Trident, or flowers plus like, you know, hoverboard or something like that. For Zushi and this is becoming a common trade I even see people this is a little bit more of a rare trade trading flowers for drums plus ads so the dude with the Zushi has to give up the ads for flowers this is a trend that we'll see more of in update 4 flowers in update 4 will go up to here just like CC did when update 3.5 came out the value of CC is skyrocketing as we go on, we'll start seeing the value of flowers start going up further. I don't think flowers will ever be on the level that CC is right now because it's just not as good of a weapon. However, it's it's rising. Like not too long ago, flowers was like right here, bro. And now people are starting to realize, okay, this is an event item. It's been a while since it's been out. Not that many people have it. So it's starting to rise a little bit. The last thing I would say that goes into there is he. Um, EA is also part of the lower valued fruit slash items tab for some whatever reason, even though he is an amazing fruit, people still just have it lower valued than these other ones. So, you know, that's kind of where that is. So now we get into the low S mid value fruits. Um, for the mid value fruits, this is pretty much what the trading community has agreed on. So Goro, uh, Mera, and Gora. These are all of the mid value fruits and that's pretty much socially accepted. This is not ordered by the way. Um, and it, it's kind of crazy because it doesn't really make sense. I can understand Gora being here because Gora is not really that good at grinding. It's only like a PVP fruit pretty much. Mera and Goro do not make any sense being here at all because Mera personally, in my opinion, can grind just as good as Pika. Goro, while it's very strong at PvP, it's just, it's also very good for grinding. Not as good as Mera, in my opinion, or Magu or Pika, but it's still very good for grinding, so it just doesn't make sense. However, this is just where it's valued at in the trading community. And if you try to value it up here, people will call you out for it and they won't do that trade. So this is where it's valued at in the trading community. Based off of my experience, a lot of other people's experiences, these are seen as mid value fruits, high demand fruits. Yes, but mid value. A lot of people want these fruits, but they don't value it higher and it just doesn't make sense, but that's where it's placed. So now we get into the high demand, high value fruits. And then for that, we're going to place Magu there. And this might come as a shocker to you guys. We're going to place Pika there. So, and the reason we are actually placing Pika here instead of the high as very high demand is because of one thing. At a one point, I think it was like a month or so ago, Pika was above Tori, but people are starting to realize that it's not quite as much as Tori anymore. And we have one thing that is trumping everything, and that is CC. And that's where that's gonna go, CC. CC has made an incline from the beginning of update 3.5 from here at the beginning of day 3.5, CC, you'd only see it being traded for like Hiei's, Zushi, sometimes Mera. Hiei has gone from that all the way up to here to where you see people wanting Tori plus ads for CC. And people will actually do those trades. It's quite wild, but that's just the reality of it. CC right now, in my opinion, is the most rare item in the game. I don't believe that's where CC should be. It's not the best item in the game. Trident, in my opinion, is better than CC. So realistically, in my own personal opinion, CC should be anywhere between here to here. But the trading community right now has it inflated up to here. 
and if you're seeking a CC, pretty much no one's going to accept, accept anything less than a Tori or a Pika, and that's just how it is right now. So this is the list completely. Um, so we got no value, very little value, mid, high, lower value, low S, high demand, high S, right? These are pretty much most of the stuff that you're going to learn when you start trading. Most of the stuff people want is high demand and up. Anything under high demand, you pretty much have no negotiating value. Um, you're not really gonna be able to get much trades with that. So pretty much the stuff in this bracket and up is what's gonna give you the most negotiating value and trade value. This is what the people want. If you have a Zushi plus drums, plus like Trident, you could probably trade up to one of these. Now I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but you have negotiating power is what I'm saying. Versus if you had anything below high demand, pretty much with these, you have no negotiating power to trade up to a higher fruit, unless you just find someone that doesn't know the values, which is rare. That's a rare occurrence. You shouldn't rely on that. Anyways, hope this video helps you guys out. Took me a while to find out and learn these trading values. This is based off of my opinion and a bunch of other people's opinions and experiences as well. Let me know what you guys think about this and what you would change on it. Hopefully this video helped you all out. It's been your boy Klaus. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.